You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Myanmar's ruling junta has murdered and tortured civilians while waging a campaign of terror in the years since taking power, the UN human rights expert on Myanmar has boldly said on Tuesday, February 1st, as he called for a tightening of sanctions. A former U.S. congressman serving in the independent post, Tom Andrews has said in a written statement that he had received more reports of mass killings, attacks on hospitals and humanitarian targets and the bombing and burning of villages in recent months. The military is committing crimes against humanity and war crimes against the people of Myanmar, Andrews had said. A spokesman for the junta did not respond to cause seeking comment. Andrews had added in his statement to the military junta, is functioning as a criminal enterprise, seizing the assets and stealing revenue that rightfully belong to the people of Myanmar. The military are using the resources to buy the means of systematically attack the people of Myanmar. This must be stopped. Today, one year after the attempted coup was launched, I am urging all of us, member states of the United Nations, and everyone who cares about human rights, justice, and decency, to take a moment to reflect on what has transpired in the last 12 months within Myanmar and the international response. I am strongly recommending that we consider a new, more robust course of action before it is too late. The military is committing crimes against humanity and war crimes against the people of Myanmar. And the world was, must recognize that behind the growing statistics, real people are suffering. Let's be clear. The military junta of Myanmar is functioning as a criminal enterprise, seizing the assets and stealing revenue that rightfully belong to the people of Myanmar. They are then using these resources to buy the means to systematically attack the people of Myanmar. This must be stopped. We have documented 1,500 um, people who have been killed, um, but this is only in the context of protests. So killings of protesters, killings in the context of protests, which means where security forces have entered people's homes, conducted raids and killed them. Uh, and these also include people who were killed uh, while in custody, while in military custody. Um, some 200 of them were killed due to torture in military custody. This 1,500 does not include people who were killed due to the armed conflict. Um, on that, we have not been able to, to collect or to verify any figures. We do understand that they are in the thousands. At least 11,787 um, people have been arbitrarily detained, and this is for voicing their opposition to the military, um, whether in peaceful protests or um, uh, on the through online activities even. Um, some of them have been released um, and 8,792 remain in custody as of today. The United States, Britain and Canada impose new sanctions on Myanmar's military after a year of chaos. Andrews has called again for the UN Security Council to impose a comprehensive arms embargo on Myanmar. At least 1,500 people have known to have been killed in the year-long protest against the coup. With thousands more possibly killed in the armed conflict, the UN Human Rights Office said on Tuesday. Myanmar's ruling junta has disputed similar past estimates of the death toll and numbers in custody made by rights groups. 